If you're having five math problems, this is of course Saiful with your daily dose of math mastery. And today we're going to go into the last question of your assessment paper number 11, the bonus question. Now this question will put together everything we've learned in the, part, in the last five questions and we're going to put it into one big question. So let's take a look at the question right now. It says here that um, Johnson fills 4 over 9 of a rectangular tank with water. Okay, what does that mean? 4 over 9, we divide the thing into 9 parts, we multiply by 4. The tank is 180 cm long, 100 cm wide, and 45 cm high. Now, what do I do first of all? Straight away, I find out how much water is in the tank. Okay. Now, then he pours out 40 liters of water. What reason? I have no idea why. <laughs> but he just pours out the money, the, the, the water. Okay. Then he says that the remaining amount of water is transferred, or they put it back into a glass tra. You know what's a tra? It's like a long, uh, like a long container. Okay with uh, 80 cm long and 64 cm wide. What is that? You should know by now. Length time breath will give you the base area. So they want to find the height. Very simple. What's height? Height is equal to volume divided by base area. That's it. So now what we're going to do is, we know how to do it. We're not going to do it. As the, the, we're just going to finish it up with the math. So first of all, the tank is 180 times 100 times 45. And then remember, we must multiply by 4 over 9. So let's do that first. Volume is equals to 180 times 100 times, what's that one? Uh, 45. And then we must remember to multiply 4 over 9 because that's only how much water there is in there. So the next step is to just do your calculator. Take out your calculator and uh, multiply it. 180 times 100 times 45 okay times 4 over 9 that means you divide by 9 you times 4 that uh 36 is it 36,000 no it's 360,000 wow that's a big, big number 360,000 cm cube okay now what happens then what happens after that is that he pours out 40 liters of water what's 40 liters of water in terms of cm cube Okay, 1 litre is equal to how much? 1,000 cm cube. So 40 litres equals to 40 times 1,000 which gives you 40,000 cm cube. Okay, so once he pours out, that means how much water is left? You take 360,000, which is 360,000 minus 40,000. You will be left with how much? Say so minus 40,000 will give you 320,000 cm cube left. So this is the amount of water, the volume of water. Now, what do you need to know? The remaining amount of water is then transferred into a glass tra 80 cm long by 64 cm wide. Find the height is very simple. Okay, first you find the base area. Your base area is 80 times 64. Okay. 80 times 64, which gives me what? 80 times 64, 5120 cm squared. Okay, why cm squared? Because there's only two cms here. One cm here, one cm here. Okay, and so how do I find my height? Volume divided by my base area. So very simple, 3200 divided by 5120 Sorry about this. Is the computer is lagging for some weird reason? Okay, so three one. Sorry, three two is it? Yeah. Three two zero 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 divided by five one two zero. There you have it. Sixty two point five cm. Phew. We are done. That's it. Okay. So if you don't understand this, actually you should be able to understand and follow because you are all very smart and you all managed to do it in class. You should be able to do it now. Okay, if you I don't understand this, listen to the video again. You should be able to do it, right? So if you got this one right by yourself, I'm super proud of you. I'm going to give you a big high five because you are a math prodigy. Good job. Remember, my code of the week is very important. My code of the week is math is simple. You put numbers in order and you'll easily score marks. Who said that? I said that. Why? Because I, I know how easy it is. I've done it all and I know you're going to do it. And listen, you are a math Prodigy. With that, this is Coach Saifu signing off again saying you are a math prodigy. Good job.